Hello Capricorn and welcome to your reading. We are going to take a look at all the good stuff coming your way within the next 30 days from the time that you view at this reading. So let's get right into it Capricorn. Let's see all the good stuff coming to you guys in the next 30 days. What spirit sees on the horizon for you. Show us Capricorn. Capricorn. Okay, so a deceit. Third chakra. Broken heart. And anxiety. Okay, so remember, Capricorn, we're looking at all the good stuff coming to you. So this tells me that you guys are coming out of some stressful and sad situations, okay, within the next 30 days, things that have been hurting your heart, things that have been giving you anxiety and stress, making you feel disempowered, making you feel small, okay, um, also deceit, this could come from somebody betraying you, somebody not being true to you, all right, the situation that you have recently gone through or have been dealing with it's actually going to start turning around, Capricorn. Things are going to get better for you, okay? Um, you're going to come back into a place of feeling very empowered and very sure of yourself and very confident. Your heart isn't going to be hurting anymore, all right? You're not going to be stressing. You're not going to be worrying. You're getting your mojo back, which is beautiful, you know? And what this is, what happened is different for all of you. Okay, where is it in your life, in your heart, that you've been sad, that you've been worried, or that you've been feeling betrayed, you've been feeling small, maybe even taken advantage of, overlooked? I feel redemption for Capricorn, being justified for Capricorn. All right, what do we have? These just flew out. Okay, so we have Five of Wands. Eight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, and King of Swords. Okay. Disagreements and fights. Different actions. Some of you, this could absolutely be around money. Okay? Where, you know, you were promised something, maybe from a job or... Uh, somebody owes you some money or somebody um, maybe took some of your money. We have this King of Swords here. So I'm not seeing this so much as an air sign, but rather somebody who was being deceitful, trickery, that type of energy. Okay. And this, it's like disagreement, conflict, things happening, things moving really quickly, but it's all coming to an end now. You're going to be vindicated. So let's see what that vindication looks like, Capricorn. All right, Nine of Wands. Your determination, you standing your ground, you standing in your truth is going to pay off. It's like don't give in. When you know you're right, Capricorn, don't give in. Stand your ground. No matter who is trying to come up against you, when you know like you know, you stay true to you. Let nobody persuade you out of that. Because what I'm seeing is you're right. You had every reason to feel the way that you did. And you know, this could even be where somebody has like been trying to convince you that you're wrong. That you don't know what you're talking about. Or you're being too sensitive. You're being too something. And I don't see that's the case at all. That is somebody really trying to divert responsibility, deflect um, responsibility, okay? But your heart knows, your soul knows. And even if you're like in a space where it's, I don't want to fight. I just, I want this to be finished. I want this to be over. I want this to be done. I just want us to go back to good. This is a message from Spirit of saying, stand your ground, Capricorn. Stand your ground. You're absolutely right. I just, you're not, the, you're not in the wrong here. 
Yes, see, the truth will prevail, okay? Ace of Swords, the Emperor, the Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Star. Yes, Capricorn, you're going to be vindicated, okay? Whether you're masculine or feminine, here you are sitting at the center. And what I see is there's somebody else that's going to come in here and like give you the truth or help you out or somebody's finally owning up to some things, okay? And being very real and honest with you. And I feel that comes from you standing your ground and like, no, I know what I know. And you're not going to try to change my mind. You're not going to persuade me otherwise, even though I'm feeling weak emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically, whatever the case may be. No, stand your ground and they are going to come clean, okay? Or somebody around this situation is going to come clean to you about everything or is really going to have your back and you have options, options that you might not see just yet. And it's going to be very healing, very satisfactory to you, okay? Because I just feel like you... You just, you want to be finished with this. You want this to be done. You want this to be over. You know, sometimes some things have been going on for so long and we just get so worn out and tired of it. It's like, I don't care who's right or wrong anymore. I just, I want this to be resolved. And what I'm feeling from spirit is don't back down from what you know is right and true for you. You are correct. Capricorn, you're right. You, you are right. This is not fair. And Spirit's confirming that for you. And whenever we are put in positions like this, there's always some soul growth going on. Okay, learning to trust ourselves, loving ourselves, having boundaries. But the truth is going to be revealed. You know, when I did a collective reading um, where something really awful had happened, but Spirit was coming through and saying, look, you've got nothing to fear. Everything's going to work out just fine for you. And I just remembered that as I'm doing your reading now. I'll pin it at the end of this video so you can check it out. But I, I feel that strongly, like it's going to work out for you as long as you stay true to yourself and what you know is right, regardless of, I just want this resolved, I want this fixed. It's, and you know the emperor, very strong energy of don't back down. Don't back down, Capricorn. Okay, two of wands, king of cups, King of Wands, Nine of Wands, there's that Nine of Wands again, and the Three of Swords, yep, okay, so with this Two of Wands, it's like you've been kind of uh, diverted or focused in one direction, and there's clarity, there's truth that's coming in that's going to like set everything straight for you, all right, <clears throat> and here with the Emperor and the King of Cups, Capricorn, I really feel... And then we also have this King of Wands. I really feel that there's somebody on your side that's really going to have your back, speak up for you, or tell you the truth of things, okay? And also a message from Spirit to remain emotionally strong in where you stand. Because even if you don't know everything or you're just unsure about stuff, but you know something's off or this wasn't fair, don't wonder that you're too sensitive. Like I feel some of you, somebody's telling you that like, you're too sensitive. You just need to let this go. You need to grow up, blah, blah, blah. No, that's their diverting tactic. Spirit is here saying, no, you stand your ground. You be emotionally strong. Okay. Because when everything comes to light, you're going to know exactly what action you need to take. That's best for you. Okay. And this right here, nine of wands talks about resilience and that you're going to get through this and the sadness in your heart because we have broken heart. And then look, we got the three of swords right here. There's healing coming in for you, Capricorn. All right. Don't let anybody, don't let anybody 
tell you that you're wrong, that you're too sensitive, that you need to get over it, that you need to grow up, that you need to man up, you need to woman up, like whatever it is. No, they are wrong. You are correct. And your vindication is coming. Your, just, your justice is coming. And there's somebody on your side, Capricorn. This might be an anonymous guardian angel of a person that you're just not aware of. This might be some sort of outsider and, and that just knows and sees everything. I, you know, there's somebody here that has your back. And look at that. We got the King of Swords, the King of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Emperor all around this energy of you. And I feel even though this is coming out as a feminine energy, it doesn't have to mean that you're a feminine. What I'm taking that as is all this masculine energy around you and the solar plexus, that's our divine masculine energy within I'm seeing you coming through as the queen because you're in your emotions. You're in your heart right now. You have been kicked out of your empowerment because of what's happened here. And that's why you're showing up as the queen of pentacles. And these masculine energies, these four masculines around you, I feel is a bit like trying to push you into a corner, is a bit of an oppressive energy, trying to have dominance over you or trying to control what you're doing, what you're thinking, all of that, okay? And it doesn't have to be a masculine around you doing that, but it's coming through as masculine energy because it's like trying to overpower you and your thoughts and your will, all right? But Spirit's like, no, don't you worry, Capricorn. Somebody has your back and the truth is going to come out. Everything's going to shake out and you're going to feel much better. Yeah, and look, it's like you're not sure which way to go. You know, do I stick to this uh, feeling inside where something just isn't right? Or do I let it go to, to restore peace? And... I see spirit saying, no, don't, don't just try to be the bigger person. You know, sometimes like that is the advice, but that's not the advice for, for this. There's some soul growth happening, Capricorn. And I feel as you move through this and get to the other side, it's definitely going to change how you handle things in the future. Like you're not going to tolerate certain things or you're going to just be more aware. This is such a learning experience. And I feel like a learning experience that you're saying, I didn't sign up for this. And I get that because like I said, I see that you are not wrong. All right. The thinking woman. Magician in the mirror. And hostilities. Yep. You know what, Capricorn, for some of you, this could even come through as... Somebody who is appearing to be on your side and they're like, oh, such and such is saying this and doing that and blah, 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 blah. But the truth at the end of the day is that person that's in the middle between you and another person or you and others or the one that has all the tea, all the gossip, that's the problem. That person is the problem, okay? Um, if you are feeling that like somebody is feeding you this information and it's hurting your heart and it's making you sad, but you, you know, they're still in contact or whatever. They're the person, they're the evil one. They're the bad seed that is trying to put a wedge between you and another or you and others. Okay. So some of you, it could be playing out in that type of scenario. I just see this whole storyline of somebody not doing Capricorn right and stirring up a lot of trouble around Capricorn, creating hostilities, okay? And the way they present themselves is like innocent, all of those things, but they're deceitful and there's something in your heart where you feel that or you're like something is off, something is wrong. And they really try to lead you down a different path. 
and there's somebody Capricorn that is going to give you a message tell you something or they're gonna put this person in their place like somebody has your back here and I feel they've been kind of strung along a bit <clears throat> by this person as well but they're waking up just as you've woken up okay and I feel they're gonna put this person in their place and this person as the thinking what well, coming through as the thinking woman I feel is very conniving very deceitful very selfish very self-serving thrives off of the chaos and the heartache of others like they just always got to be in the middle of everything okay and they cause issues always and this could be a friend a family member a romantic person a co-worker like you know it's different for all of you but this is somebody who is always trying to stir up trouble all over the place and for whatever reason they're feeling threatened by you or there's something that you said it or did that was not malicious where they're taking it personally and it's like I don't know Capricorn this person is e e but spirit saying you're going to be vindicated justice is coming for you and remember this is within 30 days from the time that you view this reading and you are right Okay, on the bottom, there's that emperor again. <clears throat> yeah, somebody's going to really have your back. And I don't think this person expects that, that to happen. Page of Cups. Five of Swords. See, somebody bringing you the truth, the message of the truth, and having heart for you. Yep, this isn't, this isn't right, what's happening to Capricorn. Mm-hmm. And look at the Magician goes on the magician in the mirror somebody has been all smoke and mirrors look at that Capricorn and there's that king of swords again <clears throat> it's just no matter how many cards I pull it's the same message over and over and over again and don't worry about this anymore don't personalize this don't let this hurt your heart this person is a bad seed Capricorn they truly are and sometimes we have to go through things like this to really have our eyes opened about who a person really is and your angels your spirit guides are trying to pull you away from this or trying to protect you but also saying you know don't you don't need to be the bigger person you don't need to rise above you don't need to search for that spiritual lesson and and give this person like forgiveness like you've always got to release but what I mean is it's time for you to really see the truth and through seeing that truth you're gonna realize how right your feelings and intuition has been and you're gonna be able to move beyond the sadness this heartache all right it's like you're gonna go from feeling sad disempowered a bit broken you know, because when things first happen to us, you, we're in shock a bit and, and we're going through all the emotions. You're going to snap out of that into a position of strength and empowerment and feeling very sure of yourself. And like this is just going to all blow away. However, the person at the center of this situation, they're, they're going to get theirs. Okay. It's going to blow up in their face. And you're going to be getting your justice while it blows up. Like you both are going to get justice. Yours positive. There's exactly what they've been handing out or trying to do. Okay. So this troublesome person in your life. And, you know, I went through a few different scenarios, but it could play out differently. You know, this person than the way I have expressed. If there is an energy in your life that is just making you feel bad, feeding you a bunch of like BS or is doing that to people around you just know that person karma's coming karma is coming and you're right Capricorn in your heart and this could even be where you've been trying to tell somebody else the truth and have their back and instead of taking your truth they turn on you because sometimes the truth is too painful for somebody to receive right and that's like when you know the 
a scenario where you know somebody like maybe you're, you're friends with somebody and you know their person is cheating on them but it's like do I tell them because at the end of the day the person that brings the truth ends up being the bad guy right so some of you this could have played out like that where you were absolutely trying to have somebody's back and protect them in some capacity and instead of taking your word and the fact that you are honest and you do care and you're there they turned against you instead opposed to the person that's bringing them harm or the situation that's bringing them harm and if it played out like that capricorn it's going to it's going to shake out still where you are justified and everything's going to blow up in this person's face and spirit wants you to know that you are right you are not wrong in this situation at all artwork and your message from Buddha the path no one saves us but ourselves no one can and no one may we ourselves must walk the path the path to enlightenment is an endless process you have to practice diligently and with discipline eventually you will become the path itself and fewer struggles and sufferings will come your way and this is a truth card okay so this whole situation, definitely there's some soul growth and some enlightenment that you're going to receive, which is only going to make you stronger and wiser for the future forward. But rest assured, Capricorn, over the next 30 days, the truth is going to come out. I mean, we got the Ace of Swords right here. The truth is going to come out and justice will be served. Karma for them and freedom and healing for you okay vindication for you so those are your messages um i want to like i'm looking at all the positive stuff and this is what spirit brought out saying this all this negative is about to turn into a big positive for you so don't don't cry don't lose sleep anymore don't you know get caught up in your head letting the the wheel spin no, this is all going to shake out all on its own, Capricorn, and you will be vindicated, all right? So those are your messages. I am sending you so much love and light. Take care.